Hi everyone, this is Stormy with Flora's Garden. Uh, today is April 11th. I just wanted to do a quick update. I got my uh, my newborn here Mommy, taking a nap. Mommy, 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 Mommy. <laughs> and uh, let's get going here. There's the Hugel Mound is now half mulched. And uh, there's all sorts of goodies coming up. Laura is singing her heart out today. Uh, apple trees are doing good. Uh, the fruit trees out there are also doing really well. The mulberry has a couple of baby mulberries on it. Uh, fruit salad tree, all five grafts stuck. Orange tree has some blooms. Persimmon is growing. I haven't seen any blooms on it yet, but uh, uh, I'm not too worried about it. I, I would rather it get established this year instead of um, just putting out flowers and a couple of crappy fruit. Uh, the pole beans, however, are not doing well. I didn't harden them off well enough before they came out here and they got scorched. So they're kind of sort of starting to bounce back. But I'm going to go ahead and just reseed every every bit of the trellis and see what, what's better. The transplants or the fresh beans... The beets, however, are doing really well down the middle, and I just read on my companion planting that beets and pole beans don't go good together, so we'll just keep our fingers crossed this year. <laughs> uh, back along the fence, the garlic is doing doing nice. Uh, I cut the scapes out of the elephant garlic, and we ate those the other day. These other garlic here uh, are starting to... Uh, wither a little bit. Uh, we'll wait for them to go a little bit more before we start checking to see if they're ready to harvest or not. Those are from the grocery store. They didn't have garlic sets in when I wanted to plant. And, he, and then our zone, we plant in the, in the fall for uh, a summer harvest because it's too hot in the summer for them. Uh, here, I didn't show these before. These are actually kiwi plants. This is a cold hardy kiwi. It's good for our zone. It's one male and one female plant. This is the, the last bit of our compost. Uh, we have a few more places we want to put it, but I think that we're, we're not going to have to buy any more this year, which will be nice. And this is the potato box, tub, whatever. Some stuff is already coming up. Um, there are some seed potatoes, and there's some potatoes that started to grow in the kitchen, so I don't know what's taking just a big experiment this year uh, but everything's really nice and lush and green we just had some rain uh, the yard is out of control it's almost up to my waist at, at some parts uh, so we have to get the weed eater out actually to get that managed uh, we have some lettuces doing really well it's a row of carrots and a row of onions here. The onion's coming up. The carrot is some old seed that I just wanted to get rid of. And I don't see anything coming up yet, but I can always reseed it. I got some fresh carrot seed the other day. Strawberries. got lots and lots of strawberry flowers. The uh, mulch on the Hugel Culture, Hugel Mound, uh, is from the local utility district. It's free. Andy went and picked it up today and put it there. And uh, we're going to get more, finish up the mound, and then get more and start mulching in here. Because uh, it just gets too hot here in the summer. And we'll, with the drought still, we don't want to waste too much water. Or, well, it's not a waste of water in the vegetable garden. The oregano is doing great. We've been eating it. The kale. This is red Russian kale. It's doing really well in our garden, actually. There's uh, about five plants. Uh, you see these ones here. This is all like a... Let's see, there's a Chinese kale. There's a... A rapini. And something else. I can't remember what it was. Some, I think it was a Chinese cabbage. And all of them just bolted right away. So we don't have any of that this spring. That's fine. It's, it's Really, it feels almost like summer. It's been... It was almost 90 degrees here the other day. Uh, the... Greenhouse here, excuse me, uh, we got a bunch of peppers down here. I've topped some of them, just 
hopefully get them a little bit more bushy. I seeded more cucumber, more green beans. I did a whole tray of basil down here. Um, these are all the cherry tomatoes down there. Doing really well, getting a good germination rate on those. And then some more peppers and some random stuff up here. These are our beefsteak tomatoes. Now, during one of our windy days, they got knocked over in the greenhouse and we were able to rescue all of them, but all of the labels except one now have been messed up. So, our beefsteak tomatoes this year are going to be a surprise. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's going to be exciting. <laughs> Maybe we can figure out what some of them are. Maybe we won't. It doesn't matter. They'll all be delicious. Yeah. This, I wanted to get a shot of this today. This is the artichoke and it is shooting up flower heads like crazy. There's at least a dozen on here I counted last night. I'm so excited with, this is one plant and we actually have three plants back here. One of them is struggling. I think it's just because it's getting smothered. And the other one got drastically cut back and the growing tip got cut out on accident. But other than that, I'm really happy with these. They are here at the back of the garden, not in anybody's way. Then after we're done eating the flowers, we can cut it back. Then it'll be nice. Because uh, then we can grow stuff around it. Now down here along the fence, we planted Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes. Which I'm excited to try. I hear they're really good. I hear they're really easy to grow. And I don't even, there's, I think there's six or seven tubers there. Sweet peas everywhere. They're along this trellis. They're along this other trellis over here that's falling apart. And all of the ones that are planted on the other side of the garden are starting to bloom and set out sweet peas. And there's Flora running around her garden. Hopefully the setup this year is going to be, uh, we're going to make rows going this way, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to start planting out beefsteak tomatoes, hopefully this next, this coming weekend. Uh, that's why we're hardening them off now. We were able to harvest a, a handful of asparagus. Only There's only so many that were big enough to cut. Uh, Swiss chard is starting to bolt, just the newer plants right here. The older one that we've had for four years, still not bolting, still going strong, still harvesting from. Our first rose bloomed, which Flora tore apart today. This tree is coming in nicely, going to provide a little bit of shade on this side of, gar this side of the garden. Oops. We've been eating from here. It's delicious. Uh, some of the larger outer leaves of the cabbage we tried cooking and eating and it, it was good. I think I need to um, steam them though so they get a little softer, a little more palatable. But yeah, everything's been going really nice. The plan for this side of the garden here is to have all the cherry tomatoes on this side. So hopefully the timing will work out that when the peas are done producing we'll be able to chop and drop and then plant the cherry tomatoes here and they'll have a nice boost of nitrogen. Fingers crossed. We'll see if it works. <laughs> but that's the newest from Flora's Garden. It's a long video. Sorry, we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I forgot to show these seedlings we got over here. I got some, some eggplant and herbs and a yellow pear tomato. And these are marigolds that are ready to go out with the beefsteaks when we plant them. And sunflowers. So I hope everything's going well. Uh, thanks for checking in with Flora's Garden. And we will see you next time.